Hardline Hindus attack Catholic school for quote unquote converting children. In India, on December 6th, a mob of Bajrang Dal and Vishwa Hindu Parishad, or VHP, members, two notorious right-wing Hindu groups, attacked St. Joseph's School in Ganj, uh, Basoda, India. On the day of the attack, more than 300 protesters gathered outside the school's compound around noon. A video posted on YouTube showed protesters throwing stones at the glass facade of the school's building. Brother Anthony Taimunkal, the school's principal, re requested police protection but did not receive any help until after the mob had dissipated. Uh, Nilesh Ag Agarwal, one of the protest leaders, claimed that the school was converting Hindu children to Christians. According to Vatican News, the attacks were triggered by a video posted on YouTube showing first a communion photos of uh, sorry showing pictures of a first communion and confirmation ceremony officiated by a bishop at the church uh Tainukal stated that the video is spreading false information he added that none of the students participating at at that event even studied at the school so this is a case of another uh fake news fake video being spread around South Asia with the intention to incite uh, collective violence against a minority. We saw this in Bangladesh. We saw this in Tripura. Now we're seeing it in this area, this time with Christians. And I, um, one, this is a big story that came out last week and a lot of people were sending it to me. And I thought it was also something that was interesting to cover in light of um, us talking about the rise in anti-Christian violence in India last week. Um, and this was another very significant example of that. Yeah. By the way, a lot of, a lot of Hindus, uh, sometimes gonna, when we cover a story like this, they're going to come in the comment section like, oh, so you support, like, do you know how bad the Christian missionaries are? And there's, I, I mean, there's a lot of videos, ridiculous videos of, of Christians in, that are trying to convert people to Christianity and to do all sorts of crazy moves and dances and speaking in tongue. And the, the videos themselves are so ridiculous uh, that we sometimes share, you see, we, we used to actually share them, but we also see them shared on atheist channels to show how ridiculous Christians can be. And I think a lot of Hindutva liked it, like that we, we shared how ridiculous Christians can be when it comes to the, their practices in India or around that region. But at the same time, like, I don't think like, I think a lot of people, religious people think binary. Uh, that means like, we, if we were like, if we say like, look, look, somebody in the live chat also, where was this? Like it's somebody saying it's true. Christian missionaries are converting in large number either by bringing or praying to, uh, what? I don't understand the rest of this or praying money to poor. Okay. But yeah, but it's missing the point. Like we could be, you guys are completely missing the point. This has, it's almost like saying like, father beats up child senseless for not doing his homework and we're like oh my god that's horrible wow this father beat up his child that's like so barbaric and somebody comes and says well it's true he didn't do his homework aren't you aren't you, are you are you against children doing their homework don't you think it's bad when kids don't do their homework like relatively to this reaction it's like not even comparable like the fact that even if it's true, I mean, in this case, the story was like a fake video, right? But even if it's true, this like, a lot of people think like we should, we should like be on the side of like this kind of action because we're atheists and we're, we're against missionary work. So we should naturally be on their side. Go on, Susanna. Okay, well, when this person is saying that it's true that they're converting in large number, either by bribing or paying money, I know that historically this has been true. I am suspicious about your claim about this happening currently. I'm highly suspicious, especially your emphasis on large numbers. Um, that's why there's the slur rice bag against Christians in India because of 
you know, that influence from the British of saying you get rice, basically, if you convert. Um, but in, well, just as a Catholic, I have to say, we don't do speaking in tongues <laughs> as a former Catholic. I'm like, no, what are I know, you talking about? Talking... We don't do that shit. Um, no, but I see videos from No, no, India I have, I know it, exactly yeah. what you're talking about. Um, yeah. but I, I just, in my heart, I just had to say, that. um, but What's so ridiculous is that according to the statistics from this school, um, there's like less, like only 1% of the students at this school are actually Christians or actually Catholic. Yeah. Most of the students that go to this school are, are not Christian. Like, um, it's just part of, um, I have friends in India who are part of our community. They're atheists now. They went to Catholic school when when they were Hindu. They were still Hindu afterwards. It's just a matter of um, where they can get better education. And oftentimes it is from Catholic schooling. This is true around the world. It's true in the communities that I grew up in. I mean, I was a Catholic, but you also got better education at the Catholic schools. Um, however, I'm not going to pretend like education has not been a force of conversion or indoctrination around the world you know um especially the jesuit tradition which is something that i grew up in in my education there's a large emphasis on bringing education to people as a something you're compelled to do for the love of christ and it's also a tool that they use to teach people about christ right so i'm not going to pretend like that's not true um, however, I'm highly skeptical of the claim of them mass converting these children when it's primarily about providing education. Um, but now in terms of the attack, mass conversions do happen though in India. And some of them are like the, the, the some of the practices are very bad. Like, like this, we know that. Um, in this instance, this seems to have been a fake, fake news, but even if it wasn't fake news, the reaction is obviously outrageous. Like this, it doesn't, you, you should be able, like the fact that you, people keep highlighting, well, they do this, they do that. Like, well, you're excusing such horrible attacks indirectly. You're saying, well, you're indirectly, what you're saying is that this was justified. That's what you're saying. Like, look at look at the comment. Look at what Hindutva Susanna is saying. <laughs> Hindutva Susanna is saying the people in Abrahamic religions are always trying to impose their faith on this. I'm not going to act like that's not true. There is an evangelical impetus in, well, particularly Islam and Christianity, right? Right. I'm highly familiar with this. I'm not going to act like it's not true. Um, I've mostly seen, um, interestingly enough, when I've seen mass conversions in India, it's been um, Dalits or scheduled caste people um, converting to Buddhism. Um, so mostly people mass converting as a, uh, impetus to try to escape casteism. But that's besides the point. Um, Darko was saying that's far from forced conversion, though. Yeah. Um, so... When it comes to this news, it's really interesting because the school is claiming that they had some reason to believe that this attack was going to happen and that they informed the police and that they asked the police for protection. And then the police refused to give them protection because they said, oh, they're just going to come like chant some slogans and then they're going to like go leave and they're allowed to go chant their slogans, whatever. If you watch the videos of this, they actually burst in through the gates of this school and they break onto the grounds. They start shattering glass and throwing stones through the windows of the school. And they're shouting Jai Shri Ram the whole time, which means glory to Lord Rama, for those who don't know. Or um, it's basically the Hindu for Allahu Akbar. And um, then it disrupted the schooling of all these children. Apparently, they were in the middle of exams. And interestingly enough, they said, oh, well, we just moved the children from one room to a different room where they can continue their exams. I was like, why did you make them continue their exams? Like, at least let the attack finish and then, <laughs> and wow. then go back to the exams. Like, bam. But that's besides the point. Can we watch um, the video? Yeah, well, let's watch a little bit. <laughs> what?
You have audio, right? What the heck is that guy doing? What is this? I, this is far worse than I thought. Over a fake video? Yeah. This is giving me Pakistan vibes. Yes, it is! Yes, it is! Unbelievable! What a Armin, what's, what are you thinking? What are the reaction? Yes, it is! Yes, it is! Okay, wait, can you pause? This is it's so indie, weird this... for me to think about this because I'm like, if you do genuinely believe that there are children being forcibly converted in there, like, do you not think that you're scaring the crap out of those kids? Even Hindutva Susanna is saying, yes, it gives bad Pakistani vibes. <laughs> like, guys, if Hindutva Susanna is saying this, then you know this is true. <laughs> Yeah, there are children yeah. inside that building. They know that there are children inside that building. Like, what is their what is their aim here? Like, this is clearly just a, con a continuation of the escalating rise of violence against Christians and the narratives that they paint against them. And um, like the photos of the first communion were reportedly like kids who were already from Catholic or Christian families. Um <laughs> Ghost Bunny is saying these people need to Jai Shri Ramad up their asses. <laughs> okay. That's really that good. good. That was really good. <laughs> I can't believe we hadn't come up with that yet. Ghost Bunny, I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use that all the time. That was good. Uh, um, okay. oh my god it's um yeah what i thought was interesting though what i wanted to finish my thought on was that one they say the catholic uh, authorities in this area are saying that they requested police protection ahead of time they didn't receive it and then they say when this attack did happen they didn't receive any assistance from the police until over an over an hour of the attack occurring apparently only like four people have been arrested in relation to this so far from the reports that i the latest reports that i read and um then when it comes to the damages the the church or the diocese is saying that there was over forty thousand dollars worth of damage to their building and but the police registered that there was only like 20 24 thousand or dollars worth of damage and the police from their side of the story they say that they did provide protection but clear, Not, it, even mean, if they did I, they clearly um, failed because where's, one where are they what, two are they? you didn't <laughs> stop anything yeah where's the police so here look at he, this if video. you if the police did were, were involved in protection they failed solely to do so Wait, wait, go back. What drives it? What is that guy doing? Go back. I, I can't understand. get over that. I don't what understand. Is... What is happening so, here? Yeah, yeah. If you're listening, they're like throwing. Uh, pause, pause, pause. <laughs> what is this? I don't <laughs> this drives uh, me crazy. Everyone's throwing stones at the glass through the building, and there's this one guy against the wall on the property. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. He's like tearing off this wooden side. And this side. guy's running towards him. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> he's just like this really Bajrang doll is such a mob of goons. I feel like that really captures their mentality. Like they have no plan. It's just to go in there and start ripping stuff, just destroying stuff. Like what, what are you doing? You, you're, oh my God. I think I think it's like a, a perfect way of feeling significant of part of something. You know what I mean? Like same yes. in Pakistan or 100%. in India. They're like somebody insulted the Muhammad. Like, oh um, I am going to be more than just mean today. I am going to be a hero, the defender of Muhammad's honor, 
this gives me significance. This makes me an important part of the universe, right? I am doing something honorable and I'm like going as this hero, as this warrior mentality, right? And again, these people are like, oh my God, Christians are converting children. Today is the day that I will be the hero. I stepped up. I, you know, I defended my country against this like ideological invasion of our country. Like, you know, I am mother india like you know jai Shri. by the way can you explain to people who are don't know what jai Shri ram means because some people are like what is that Didn't oh like i explained that, yeah. earlier it means glory oh, okay. to lord rama it's like okay, i but said people don't... basically like okay uh, it's... Allah Akbar. yes it's a, it's a hindu version of Allah Akbar. um yeah what is this harris we call them tunis i don't know harris what does that mean um yeah. wait there was a good um Stardom by Star Rich Rich you... that I wanted to read. Okay, find it. Whenever you see them, you can start them so you could go back to them. There's a new feature. So streaming. here he's saying they don't understand the apt response to these conversions. So they think intimidation is the way. And this is, I saw another comment from Rudresh earlier, basically saying like, they have no actual argument. Like they don't know how to like talk any, they don't have arguments. So what they have violence. Hmm. That's basically it. And I bet you I bet you they wouldn't even be able to communicate with you why they're doing what they're doing. <laughs> like if you honestly, sit down with no. them no. <laughs> I bet. I would I would take that bet. Um yeah. Okay. Anything else you wanted to add before we go to I the wanted next to thing? find um wait, give me thirty seconds. 30 there was seconds. a comment by um a figure from the Catholic community there that I wanted to read. Um, and yeah, I, I'll, okay. you do that while I read this comment. Um, so me, Archbishop oh. Felix Machado of Versailles Diocese ex expressed being saddened by the attack. Quote, it pains my heart. I'm not even asking uh, which religion we belong to, but are we human beings? Where are we as Indian citizens? Are we living in the 21st century? He said anyone could have been injured in the violence. Is there law and order in this beloved country of mine? I am not debating about religion here. Every life is precious. I don't know. That that comment really struck me. You know, like when stuff like this happens, like people really grieve for the nation that they're in because they do have affection for where they're from. They are members of this nation too. And to be so violently otherized must be a very painful experience. Yeah. Um, um, read the comment and yeah, uh, I mean, whom is saying, and the funny thing is that in my state, the Catholic church has a soft core of soft corner for Hindu politics, BJP and RSS leaders meet up with Catholic priests. It is so that they can team up with them against Islamists. I'm not entirely surprised by that. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.